Today we're going to take you through all the functions of the standard display on Roll Road e-bike. Even if you're familiar with this style of display, pay attention to all the steps to make sure you're getting the most out of your display. Now hold the M button for 3 seconds until the screen turns on. This is a quick visual reminder of your battery level. No it's not as accurate as the voltage reading, but for people who are more visual, this is a great reminder to charge up. The main two icons in the middle of the display are speed indicators. This is the pedal assist level you're currently in. This one is easy, it's how fast you're traveling while riding. This number right here is the odometer, it's the total number of miles the bike has traveled. All Roll Road e-bikes LCD have five different riding modes that offer different levels of pedal assistance. Zero offers throttle but no level of pedal assistance, and it just means for keeping the bike on. To change the riding mode, click the plus sign or minus sign until you get to the one you like. You can increase to levels 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. These modes will give you more and more pedal assist. Speed display mode change. On the main screen long pressing M plus up, go into the speed display mode change long press will shift change one by one current speed max speed and average speed. Short press M, display one by one shows current mileage whole mileage current riding time and current battery voltage. Now we'll be going through the default settings that come stock with your electric bike. To start, in order to access the settings menu you will need to hold down the plus and minus buttons on the control pad simultaneously until the screen changes to read P01. In order to cycle through the different pages of settings, you'll need to click the M button until you find the page that you are looking for. In order to cycle through the settings within each program page click the up and down button. P01 is set to 3. P02 is the setting for distance units, the default setting is set to 1. P03 is a lock setting is set to 48. P04 is the setting for the display sleep timer in minutes, the default is set to 10 minutes, 0 means function off. P05 is another lock setting, this setting adjusts the number of pedal assist levels, its default setting is set to 5. P06 is set to 20.0. P07 is set to 1. P08 is the setting that adjusts the class of your e-bike. The default settings are set to 100, making it a class 3 e-bike and allowing for speeds up to 28 miles per hour. P09 is the setting for throttle zero start. This will change whether the throttle activates from a standstill or not. The default setting is set to zero. P10 toggles both pedal assist and throttle activation. When set to zero, pedal assist is active but throttle is inactive. When set to one, pedal assist is inactive and throttle is activated. And when set to the default setting of two, both pedal assist and throttle are active. P11 is a setting that adjusts the pedal assist sensitivity, the default setting is set to 2. P12 adjusts the strength of the pedal assist, the default setting is set to 5. P13 is a lock setting and the default setting is set to 12. P14 is another lock setting, it controls the controller's peak current limit and the default setting is set to 12. P15 is another lock setting. It is the setting that adjusts low voltage cutoff, the default setting is set to 100. P16 is a lock setting, is set to 0. P99 is data reset, on this screen, hold up the up button for 5 seconds, the display will change back to the original factory settings. ODO gives you the ability to reset your odometer, in order to reset the odometer, you will hold the up arrow for 5 seconds within the P99 screen. Below is a table of default parameter settings save it in case there's problem to review. Here's a table of the meanings of the error codes that will be shown on the display if there's a problem with the bike. If you have any questions about these settings, please feel free to contact us in any of these ways.